BUILT is an acronym for Business and Industry Leadership Team. It's the organization of approximately 50 to 52 people that are engaged in helping the college with curriculum, with understanding the business models, understanding the process changes, and even the innovations in the industry so that we can make sure the curriculum our students are learning is going to prepare them for the industry they're going into and not having them lagging the industry and coming in behind the power curve. From the business community, uh, provide our knowledge back to the community and particularly to the students and the benefits are both ways. Basically it's a combination of our educators uh, combined with our business leadership team that come together to develop a curriculum jointly to fit the needs of the business. I have been involved with the bill for a long time. I don't know the exact time, but I think it started out since 1999, 2000 time frame, and uh, with, uh, with uh, diverse roles in the bill, from the leaderships to uh, to uh, involve as a guest speaker uh, as well. It comes up to about 11 years now, and. Uh, just about 100% of the curriculum has been changed out over the last 11 years. It shows you how fast technology has changed the last decade. There's an outlet for us that we have this intellectual properties from the industry. The only way to um, the only way to spread that knowledge is going back to the community colleges and help the college to stay current and stay on top of technologies and the business cycle as well. By uh, creating uh, students that we would love to hire. It's a pleasure to work with these students. And they're bright, they're smart, and they are hard workers. And they're employable, so you know. <laughs> For a number of reasons. Ten years ago I did it because I had all of the converged technologies that I was responsible for at the company I was at and we didn't have a trained workforce to go in and take care of what I was launching in the marketplace. So that really created a conundrum for me of how do I help get people trained so I can hire them. And that's blossomed into now where I'm involved because I love the, uh, the art of teaching for one thing. I've done it before, probably will do it again in my uh, Encore career. And I like seeing the students be able to benefit from what the business community can bring to them in both technical skills and soft skills. I got involved uh, by a letter sent by Ann B. Huller. I got the letter and I, I uh, responded and, um, and I'm here today. I've been involved with everything from uh, the uh, Working Connections groups, with speaking at high-tech events, and uh, even going to Washington for one of our events. So I've become the world traveler for the community colleges. It's a great honor and first of all, and thank you for the opportunity on behalf of Comerica Bank to be part of this uh, virtual internship. In fact, this is my very first time participating in this virtual environment. We used to have uh, students that would come to the bank physically and work with us. Uh, and they would work in multiple areas, uh, whether that from the business side of banking or in the technology side of banking. But uh, this is really a pleasure to be able to work virtually with the students from you know, the beginning and now today is, is really a pleasure to see that they finally, finally finished their project and about to present. I think that uh, I hope that uh, even though this is our, the first, very first pilot, I want to um, emphasize that it's important to continue this mission on behalf of our students and on behalf of future students who will be part of this grant.